Okay, so we have to evaluate the integral from 0 to 4 of the fractional part of root x with respect to x. So we have to observe a couple of things. First is that root x, which we already know is a nonlinear function, not linear, and its graph is here. The second thing is that fractional part of x is a piecewise defined function. It varies from 0 to 1 as x goes from one integer to the next. So when x is an integer, it is 0. It goes up to 1, comes back down to 0 at an integer, goes back up to 1, comes back down to 0, etc., etc. So we can conclude that the argument of this integral, yeah, the fractional part of root x, is between 0 and 1. Okay, so that is one thing that we can work with. Now the composite function, fractional part of root x, will also vary between 0 and 1, as we've just mentioned. But as root x moves from one integer to the next only, yeah, root x, as we mentioned, is a nonlinear function. So it has integral values when x is a perfect square. That means when x is 0, when x is 1, 4, 9, etc., etc. And you can see a little bit of its graph right here. So I've shown graphs, but the graphs are actually not necessary. We can work simply with the knowledge that what we're looking at are uh, limits of integration where root x becomes an integer. And we need to integrate between those. We need to split this integral into as many as are needed. So first, remember that root x is an integer at 0, 1, 4, 9, etc. Yeah? So our first interval is 0 to 1. When x is in 0 to 1, root x is also in 0 to 1. And so the fractional part of root x is simply root x. When x is in the interval 1 to 4, root x is in the interval 1 to 2. And so the fractional part of uh, root x would be obtained then by subtracting 1 from root x. So we can split this integral now. So instead of 0 to 4, we have two integrals, 0 to 1 and 1 to 4. And now we remove the fractional part sign, yeah? And we observe that from 0 to 1, the fractional part of root x is simply root x. And then from 1 to 4, the fractional part of root x is root x minus 1. And so substituting that, and now these are trivial to integrate, uh, and the final answer is 7 by 3.